Hey everybody, one another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So, a big painting week this week. I painted 30-something models. I painted two new armies. Uh, I painted my Northwind Highlanders for Battletech and my Leagues of Votan army set from Games Workshop. I also got some stuff primed and a bunch of various other projects uh, sort of like collected to be on the go. Lots of exciting things happening and of course with the summer over and fall beginning, new seasons of things kicking off like ITS season 14 which starts next week which I am super pumped for and I'm collecting some models um, to write a couple new lists to give it a go. So uh, let's take a look at what got done. I'll give you a quick overview of how I painted my Leagues of Votan army and my um, Northwind Highlanders and we'll, uh, we'll see what's coming up. So I think the first, here's my Leagues of Votan army set, um, all ready to rock and roll the gaming table. I got to play a couple games of it this week, uh, one of which you'll see today against Nick's Tau. Um, and uh, yeah, the, uh, the the greater three in league walks. I did a quick and dirty paint scheme on these. Lots of airbrushing, lots of corner cutting. I painted it in about, I built it in like one a six hour session and then painted it in about maybe 12 hours. Um, so it was to get it functional on the table. So the whole thing was um, primed with uh, Abaddon Black. After it was assembled, I then airbrushed the armor sections with um, that sweet uh, sort of like steep sea green, the Sons of Horus green, and then mixed a teeny tiny bit of beige into it for a second highlight, just doing the raised areas, like a little Zenithal highlight. I used Hoth Blue for a uh, base coat for all the white afterwards, and then just mixed in some white scar uh, to blend it up. All of the like face masks and stuff, I wanted to pop it, like a variation scheme here. Uh, I basically base coated them with Gryffindor, Griffin Gold, Griffin Gold, I think it is, and then washed it with Canoptic uh, Gloss Wash. Uh, then the bags were all done with uh, Morgar Brown, and then washed actually with a contrast paint, which was uh, Dark Oath Flush to give it that nice finish. The weapons were actually scale 75 black steel, uh, and the casings were done in, um, what is it, Corvus Black, uh, and then given a wash with some some um, nominal gloss. Then I picked up the eyes with, I believe it was Doomble Brown as base coat, and then a bit of Wild Rider, and a little bit of Averland Sunset as the highlight, much the same on the weapons for the weapon casings and stuff like that. Uh, and I just, I liked the idea of them being like astronauts, so I literally didn't use any of the bare heads. One, that let me save time painting skin. There was no choice, I had to paint skin on the bikers. But on the rest of these guys, I could get away with just giving all face masks to, to crank it out. Uh, the um, Aaron Hire champion is the only other one that had like a bare head. So I did him separately, because he's a character model. And then everything else got done up with the masks on, because I actually really like the masks. This big cool mass hammer and shield, and the exo armor, and then Uthar the Destined, or whatever his name is, uh, the great Cal of the Thurian League, and I did him in the helmeted head. Just because I like the helmeted head a lot, and again, I didn't want to paint the skin, and I don't like his like rocky complexion. Uh, I used Morn Fang Brown, blended up with a little bit of beige in it uh, for like the capes and stuff like that. And then all the decals, a little gloss varnish. Uh, same with the bikes, Morn Fang Brown for all the um, coats and stuff like that, same base coats for the armor, same way of doing the white, same way of doing the lenses. I used Bugman's Glow for the skin with a little bit of uh, Screaming Skull blended into it. And then that exact same process uh, up here for these, I used um, the browns, uh, and then that green is, I think, Castellan Green, and I put a bit of um, Dark Earth Flush over top of it to kind of make it a little dirtier when it was all finished. But it's all mostly airbrushing, washing, and um, a little bit of highlighting and like picking out some stark contrast details like the white to give them a nice pop and they're all said and done. The bases, because I always get asked about the bases, are uh, Sterling Battlemire and then and they're actually dry brushed with, I wanted it to look kind of alien, so I dry brushed it with Emperor's Children and then a bit of Dorn Yellow uh, as like the edges and you leave the darkness in between. It's like a shadow. You leave just the plain brown in the middle there. And I gave it a cool warm pop. Again, this is just a little trick for when you have something that's like green or blue green. You want a contrasting color, go look at your Pantone color wheel. Um, I used a purple basically to make it pop off against the green and it's got a great effect. The tufts are Deadlands grass from Army Paint. I'm very happy with them. It's a good start to an army. It's about 700 points. Uh, in the Leagues of Otan army set, and looking at the codex, I could add in like a unit of the exosuits, and then maybe a Sagittor or exosuits and Chthonian Berserkers, um, and that would give me the opportunity to to update, or I actually I'd probably do Berserkers and uh, the exosuits first, and then 
um, the Sagittaurus later. Because you need two Sagittaurus to be able to like combat squad somebody. Although I could get like a Sagittaur and Berserkers, and they could use it as a ride maybe to get them into close combat. Some choices. But basically, like two more units makes it a thousand points. And it's got your two troop choices uh, for patrol and two HDs. And then if you've been watching my social media, I saw that I painted out my Northwind Highlanders to play a game with Jay this week. Uh, these are the new miniatures from the new Alpha Strike starter set, the two player starter set. And you can see here, I'm going to do up the uh, the uh, clan mechs as well. I think as Northwind Highlander Salvage. Like they defeated them and then they've taken them as salvage, which is a very 3151 mercenary thing to do to have clan mechs in your army. So they were done with um, this is actually a uh, just like a Rust Oleum um, like base coat. Uh, it's a brown, I think it's called Mocha or Coffee. It's like a brown gray. And then I um, airbrushed on uh, some of that um, Castellan green I used for the, the stowage on those guys and then a little bit of beige into it to give it that nice kind of highlight. Details are, again, that P3 black metal for all the metallics. Um, and actually the same lens trick. You can see I've just left the same paints on the table, so the lens trick is the same. Uh, I did... Um, the Doom Bull Brown up through Wild Rider and a little bit of Avalon Sunset for the, the lenses and stuff like that. And the bases are kind of similar. Again, it's uh, Stone Battlemire and then dry brushed with this time like Lich Purple and a little bit of um, beige. I had it on the, on the brain here, how to get green to pop off because I was doing all these contrasting colors. And these are uh, a Vallejo Tuft set uh, when it's all said and done. And then contrasting against Hoth Blue I used. No, maybe Hoth Blue, Calder Blue, I think it's called for the, the like tattoos and stuff. Uh, and that's another eight models painted. So 25 plus eight, 33 miniatures painted this week. Big painting week, two different star sets. Um, getting them all done. A lot, of, a lot of green I painted this week. Like I said, coming up, my clan half of the star set because Jay painted his as clan Snored. Uh, I'll probably paint them as Salvage for the Highlanders, and then that will complete the um, the company there, which would be fun. Uh, and I've also got some Goliath Maulers, Syndrach Burnings coming. This is the... If you're a big fan of narrative campaigns, like if you like like a Frostgrave style narrative campaign book, Syndrach Burning is basically that for Necromunda, and it can take place in all three locations. So the Wastes, the Underhive, uh, Zone Mortalis, and Sector Mechanicus. And so my Goliaths are ready to rock and roll, and the Maulers are here, uh, or as Nick said, the, the new Orc bikes are here, and <laughs> they're crazy heads. So I'm gonna paint these up to add to my Goliaths, and that way I've got some um, some awesome road vehicles basically ready to rock and roll for a gang I already have painted. They're pretty cool, they're on the same size bases is the Marine Outriders, um, and you can see here each one builds a single, each frame basically builds a single one of these uh, maulers, and you get a couple head options to build with them too. But nice chunky minis, I'm excited to put them together and uh, get some paint slapped on. I'll probably dinge them up a little bit more than what's And here. as I said, ITS Season 13 is coming soon. I got my um, Operation Black Wind box painted up, so I want to paint up some more stuff to do ISS, I think, and play some ISS, and then my Morats also. Uh, I want to get that Yaogat painted. Um, I also want to get the Raziat and some more Suryats done as well. So lots of stuff coming for ITS Season 14. Uh, and uh, they've announced that the, uh, the new pack drops on Monday, which I'm pumped for. So I've dug out some minis to get painting and play some games. So there you have it, another on the paint table done and on the books. Leagues of Votan painted, some new Battletech stuff, uh, and lots of stuff coming up for Infinity, Necromunda, lots of other games. Uh, so we'll see you next week to see what I get painted. Till then I'm Ash. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.